Howdy folks. So today, here we have a uh, one of these really, really crappy uh, TP-Link uh, wireless routers, which, I mean, I'm kind of, uh, I kind of can't bring myself to call this a router because it's so, it's so crappy. I mean, I mean, this was given to me, but these things retail for like less than 20 bucks Canadian. So, I mean, these things are, I mean, they're, they're basically free. And I mean, I mean, I use this as one of five APs in my house, but it's not a router. I mean, I turn everything off that I can. It's basically just a glorified wireless card. Um, so this is a TLWR740N. It's a 150 megabit N router. Um, so of course you're gonna get like, you know, maybe 20 megabit max from like an inch away, let's say. I mean, it's not great. It's got one antenna, which is really hard to turn in this direction and really too easy to turn in this direction. Doesn't come off, of course. Uh, there's some QSS button. I mean, I don't know what that does. I'm gonna assume it's like WPS or some bullshit like that. Uh, 100 megabit easily, because uh, they don't even populate half the pins, so that's clearly 100 megabit. It's got a really beefy power switch, which, I mean, I'm surprised they didn't cheap out on that. That power switch is probably the nicest thing in this. Reset hole, which you're probably going to need, because if you use this as a router, I guarantee it's going to crash all the time. Um, so anyway, um, I had to take this out of service, uh, because uh, I'm... Well, long story, but uh, I'm going to temporarily take this out of service, so let's take it apart, just because I want to see how absolutely little there is in this thing. Um, and one thing to note, uh, even though this is really tiny and you know it's so cheap, I have another TP-Link uh, AP, their Archer C2, which is actually a wireless AC um, one, which is, oh my, look at that. Those aren't even screws. It's only two. Well, I, get, I guarantee there's probably clips on this side. Uh, but anyway, I have the Archer C2, which is apparently a, which is actually quite a good one. I mean, it's still not used as a router. I have a PFSense uh, router, but it's, uh, this thing's heavier than that. I mean, this, this case must be made really thick, um, because, I, I mean, there can't be very much in this. I mean, I'm suspecting there's probably going to just be one, one ASIC, one system on a chip, maybe some magnetics, and, I mean, that's it. I don't expect there to be anything else in this. It's going to be pretty boring, but... And this is the part where oh, there's no screws under the label. I'm going to need a screwdriver for this. I'm just going to need some prizing open. Off camera here. Oh, there we go. Clips galore. What did I expect? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry I didn't get the money shot of the lid coming off. So, uh, we got a date code on there. Let's see, what is that? 12919. So I'm going to say 2012. Is it three years old? Or at least this is. So they're just plain holes with a piece of plastic on top. It's probably just tape. But if I take that off, it'll never go back on. So here we go, we have um, sort of what I expected. We've got uh, magnetics, system on a chip, some memory, crystal, some LEDs are mounted off the board. No light pipes, that's far too expensive for this. They've brought the coax in and just soldered it on. So one for the sleeve and one for the uh, inner conductor. So of course that's, uh, that makes sense. We've got three caps in here. Uh, big inductor. This thing's actually got more DC to DC than uh, I would have expected. Is that how they're doing the rec? Oh, that's a protection diode. What the hell am I talking about? It's got a power supply in it. 105 degree C rated caps, which is unusual. And they're made by Leaguer? Okay, I've never heard that before. I mean, they spelled? No, that's, that's not even a word. Um, I'm not going to bother looking up these chips. Um, I don't suspect that's more than 16 megs of SRAM. 
I mean, there, there just isn't. Um, and our main chip here is an Aetheros. Um, again, that, that doesn't surprise me. Again, not going to bother looking it up. Um, so our main clock is 25 megahertz, which is probably PLL'd up to 200 or something. It's not going to be a high clock. Um, definitely not a high clock for this, not a high throughput device. Um, it's probably got a built-in Ethernet switch for all this stuff. Um, Creon, not quite sure what that chip is doing. Just some more, just some DC to DC, and that's about it. I mean, it's what you expected. That's a, that's a thin board too. That's a thin circuit board. Wow, and it's oh wow. There's no screws. No screws at all. I mean, it'd be free from the housing if it wasn't for that solder connection. So yeah, there's only two screws holding the whole thing together. Everything else is just clips and uh, pray to Jesus. It works. I mean, I mean, I mean, honestly, I, I, for, for how cheap this is, I mean, it gets the job done. For me, it converts Ethernet to Wi-Fi, and that's all I need. But, uh, yep. Not surprising. Just thought I'd, uh, I'd show you what's inside. Because, you know, the curiosity got the best of me. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully that provided you a couple minutes of entertainment. See you next time. Thanks for watching.